This is um, Jared Pollan, Frono's photo, and this is uh, how not to use live view and how to hold the camera properly. Jared Pollan, Frono'sPhoto.com. So of the two things I want to talk about in this video, we have how to properly hold the camera and why we're not using live view. So let's start with how to hold the camera. A lot of people are used to holding cameras like this. I don't even want to do it. And that's putting one hand over here and one hand over here. That's not very stable, especially if you're using a heavy lens because a heavy lens could break off the mount and you don't want to do that. You don't want to hang the camera like this because you don't want to put added pressure on the mount. So, this is how to properly hold a camera. Right hand on the camera. Left hand underneath. Tuck the elbows. If you tuck the elbows, you're going to stabilize your image much better. So look, boom, we're stabilized. Two, the hand is underneath, so what can it do? It can zoom. Just very simply, just with the rotation of the thumb, you are zooming. So look, boom, tucked in, zooming, all in one motion, that's stable. A lot of people try this, but this isn't very stable. I know it sounds simple, but just this one little tip is going to make your pictures a lot better because of the stability. Tuck the elbows, hold it in tight, boom, twist, there you got it. So live view, they started putting live view into digital SLRs for people to, to, to use the screen as your viewfinder. That's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it because one, as you hold it further away from the body, the camera, further away from your body, you're going to get more shake. It's less stable out here because your arms aren't tucked in like this. So you, you know, now you put one hand here, one hand here to zoom. This isn't stable at all. I do not want to see anybody shooting in live view. You know, the only time that I could see live view working is if you had a rotatable screen and you needed to hold it above your head and get something that you couldn't get any other way. That's the only time I could really see using live view. The focus is slower. Um, it's just, it's harder to frame. I want to look through the camera and I want you to look through the camera to get a feel for it. But mostly it's more stable. I mean, just look at this. We're tucked in, we're boom. I keep saying boom. We're just like this. You know, how would you do this, Mr. whatever your name is? I, Nice shirt. I wear that, actually. It's my shirt. Um, but that's another story. So, live view. I'm not a big fan of live view for still photos. You have to do it with video um, because that's the only way to do it. But for still photos, it's, it's not the way to go. You're not going to stabilize very well. You just have to tuck your elbows in, go like this. Look at this. This is very stable. I'm sta And this is a heavy lens on this camera. So, that's how to hold the camera better to be more stable and why you don't use live view when taking still images.